This video demonstrates ISOM CFD integration in ANSYS Workbench. The ISOM CFD add-in allows you to access ISOM CFD as a component of the Workbench environment. Right-click to make the data connection to a geometry source. Similarly, make the data connection to an output solver. The start to finish data transfer is fully automated. Changes in one component can be easily propagated through the design. This allows for quick updates and iterative design. Double-click a component to set it up. For example, an existing geometry can be loaded. The project is a simple pipe junction with two inlets and one outlet. Project and component status are indicated by the icons within the components. The geometry component now shows up to date and the ISOM component needs a refresh. Launch ISOM CFD to load geometry data and initialize the mesh. The ISOM CFD add-in has all the functionality of the standalone product with a few customizations for integration into Workbench. Named selections become parts in ISOM CFD. Set larger maximum mesh size on the larger pipe and smaller maximum size on the smaller pipe. Enable prisms and set inflation parameters to capture boundary layer effects on the wall surfaces. Update and save the project to generate the default mesh. Recompute the mesh, now with prisms enabled. Output mesh is automatically generated in a format suitable for the downstream solver. ISOM CFD is up to date, but Fluent needs to be refreshed. Double click to set up the Fluent solver. The most recently saved mesh is loaded automatically. Edit boundary conditions, run calculations, and set up a graphics display. Parametric design allows for easy iterations. Click the checkbox to create the parameter. Use a suitable name. Set some design parameters in the ISOM component, again by clicking the box. You can choose individually which inflation parameters will be accessible in Workbench. You can use output parameters to give important mesh statistics. For example, select a quality measure applicable for the solver requirements. And display the number of mesh elements. Set different values on the input parameters to see the results of the iterative design process. Click Update All Design Points to compute and display the results. For example, larger inlet pipe radius and smaller scale factor will result in more elements. The design point data will be exported for processing if the checkbox is enabled.